Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, Fabulites. This is Angela, and I have got questions for you. What opens with Miss Shalawa trying to clown my girl, along with uh, my girl Tiwa's mama, too? They both trying to clown Tiwa. And what closes with Shaliwa trying to low key clown my girl Tiwa and getting clowned by her girl Fola? If you guess Skinny Girl in Transit, episodes four through six unwanted guests let it go it's a date you're correct i'm angela the channel is be fabulous you thank you so much for clicking on the video and sticking around to see how we get from opening to closing let us proceed okay episode four unwanted guests we got mommy and sissy they're sitting on a couch and they're and 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 sissy is reading and, and watching the tv or mommy is reading but anyway they're fussing and we see that ty is in the room too she's just not on the couch but she's on her phone and ty's um tummy is making noises because she's on a master cleanse yay and i know she's on a master cleanse because they said something about her lemon and her honey and her water and she said it's not uh, honey, it's maple syrup. And I said, yes, girl, master cleanse. And then um, her mom is like, we said that you should lose weight, not kill yourself. Your daddy's not even here. Why don't you wait for your father to come back before you kill yourself? <laughs> and then T.Y. is like, detoxing. It's called detoxing. And Shalawa is um, cracking up. And then mommy, mommy is like, does detoxing bring you a husband? And you, Shali, why you shut up too? How many men have you brought in this house? Every day it's a every day it's a different guy. Y'all still there? Every day it's a different guy, Shali Wa. And uh 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 and I'm tired of you both. Um I'm tired of you both. You two um you two don't want you two don't want me to have joy in this house. You don't want me to have joy in the world. And her mother, you know how mommy, we, 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 can, we already know that mommy is dramatic. So mommy is going off on her tangent. And, um, you know, you don't want me to have joy. Blah, blah, blah. And then the doorbell rings. And T.Y. turns to us, her audience. And she says, I could kiss whoever just rang the bell. And we know because it's the TV show that it's going to be somebody to do that she claims she don't want to kiss. Um, because when mommy gets started ranting, she doesn't stop until she falls asleep. And then we see T.Y., um, T.Y.'s big smile at opening the door turn to an attitude as she sees who is at the door. It's our bridge guy. Hey! And she says, what the hell are you doing here? And then the mom is like from calling from, you know, far away or from the living room. T.Y., who is that? And then um, T.Y. is like, uh, nobody. And then he's like, nobody? After all I've done for you, I just want to be your friend. And then Shali Wa, she comes. She's being nosy. Who's at the door? Trying to see who's at the door. And she joins T.Y. at the door. And she's like, who do we have here? Oh, it's our good Samaritan from the bridge. So she probably don't know that he also rescued her in the blind date situation. I never got your name. That's what Shali was saying to him. And then I thought he said Anthony, but so, but it's not Anthony. Or maybe it's Anthony, but they call him Femi. But um, and then Shali was like, "Hi, I'm Shali Wa, the pretty one." And then Anthony, I mean Femi, is like, um, "I'd have to doubt that." And then Shali was like, um, trying to make T, oh, trying to make Tiwa feel better about herself. Aw, come on in. And then T.Y. says to us, I know I said I could kiss whoever it was, but I had no idea it was him. His presence will make my mom focus in. And Cola, um, Cola needs me. And I need Cola. And then she kisses her teeth. And we know that Cola, we know now. I didn't really know when I first watched that the Cola was the ex-boyfriend. And then Shaliwa, um, her mom is like, um, you know, Shaliwa, um, mom, this is Femi. And then her mom is like, oh, handsome. Um, you know, who is he? And then Shaliwa is like, oh, he's our friend, Tiwa and I. And then Shaliwa is all grabbed up, holding him, you know, by his arm. <laughs> and then mommy is like, well, whose friend in particular is he? 
And Femi is like, T.Y., I met her on the bridge. And Mama's like, oh, our Savior. T.Y., get your friend a, a drink. And then T.Y. is like, well, he's about to leave. And then Femi is like, Ma, I have plenty of time. And anything to drink is fine. He playing up, you know, that the Mama is like, he know how... He know how her mama's going to be because culturally he understand what, what a guan. Um, and then um, he's like, you know, I have plenty of time and anything to drink is fine. And Shali Wa is sitting on the arm of the couch right next to Femi. And then her mom is like to T.Y., go now, get him a drink, a biscuit. And then T.Y. is like to us, can you see what is happening? Soon I will be cooking him dinner. She's fussing. She upset. And then we see Shali Wa. So uh, what do you do? And Femi is like, I'm an accountant in my father's accounting firm. And T.Y. is back with the tray. And um, Sha and she says, Shaliwa, don't you think you're sitting too close for comfort? And Shaliwa is like, well, he's not complaining. And then mom is like, go sit somewhere else. And then Shaliwa gets up off the arm of the chair. And then she sits next to him on the couch. So he's like bounded between her and and the arm of the chair like he can't move one way or the other but it did make me realize when she was sitting on the arm of the chair if he was very uncomfortable he could have moved but he didn't okay so anyway she's sitting you know on the um you know she move over <laughs> all close to him really really close and then um um mom is like so um are you single and shali is like he's you know he's he's like yeah and shali is like well how come and femi is like well i haven't found you know the right one yet and then mommy is like well my daughter ty is also single and ty is like mommy and shali is like i'm single too and then ty is like femi why are you still here and femi is like actually ma i have been chatting i have been chasing ty for a while but she refuses to give me attention so that's why i came here today to ask her out and then shali was like you want to ask this ty out I, this ty this ty right here shali cut it out girl and then um um you want to ask this ty out on a date and then mommy is like, she will go. And then T.Y. is like, uh, we can I, we can go, but just as friends. And then mommy and Shali Wa go into the kitchen. And T.Y. is like, you did that on purpose. And Femi is like, well, you wouldn't give me your number. Now your mom will start planning your wedding. And then T.Y. is like, knowing my mom, she's planning out the wedding colors and menus already. And then we hear T.Y.'s tummy growl. That's the end of that episode. Then we're on to episode five, which is called Let It Go. So we see, um, we open up. Shali Wise cracking up. She loud. She on the couch. She looking at something on her tablet or her phone. And T.Y. is like, basically like, I know this child is trying to get my attention. And it's not going to be something. You know, she's trying too hard to show how fun, much fun she's having. I know I really don't want to know. But if I don't ask, she's going to keep up this behavior. So what are what's so funny, Shali Wa? And Shali Wa is like, oh, you know, you don't want to know. You know, it's, it's not going to be funny. It's probably not funny to you. And then it turns out that Shali Wa is looking at a picture of Tiwa. Um, and it's Tiwa in an outfit that Shali Wa had told her not to wear. And she had worn Shali, I mean Tiwa wore the outfit to an event, and the picture has gone viral, and people are making all kinds of unnice comments on it. Now, maybe some people are making nice comments, but uh Shali Wa is cracking up at the mean comments. And T.Y. is like, you're laughing at me and I'm dealing with so much stress. The boss at my job trying to lose weight, trying to get my man back. And then T.Y. leaves. And then mommy um, gets on Shali Y. You don't have a job. You don't have a boyfriend. Um, you don't even have any money. Or you don't have anything. You just a running mouth. Go clean the kitchen. You know, her mama is like, ugh. Then we see T.Y. and she's in her bedroom and there's sad music playing and then mommy comes in and she says, don't soak anymore. Your sister was only um, joking. She's sorry. And then T.Y. is like, she's right. I can do better. I did look bad. This weight, 
it's holding me back. And then mommy is like, don't worry, daughter, I'll help you. And then she's, you know, comforting her. And, you know, it's like a mommy daughter moment. And then mommy is like, I'm going to help you. All we have to do is hook that boy. And then T.Y. is like, what boy? And then mommy is like, that Femi, he's all over you. You have to hold on to him. Forget about Cola. I did not even like him. He was just after fame, events tickets. Um, mother to daughter, Femi likes you. He's all over you without worrying about your weight. He doesn't mind your weight. And I want you to lose a few more pounds and he'll propose to you. What else do you need? And then T.Y. is like, I will lose the weight, mommy. But mommy, she just ruined a perfectly good mother-daughter moment. The weight is tiring me. I'm exhausted. I'm done. You know, she, you know. Okay, so then we see T.Y. in her car, and she's on the phone, and she's calling Femi. And it's a woman. It's a female voice in the background, a woman's voice, a girl's voice. You see Bella in the background? She the video vixen. Um... And she's like, um, uh, should I call you back another time? Okay, this is a good time. He's like, oh, yes, yes, yes. And then she's like, well, um, I was thinking that uh, we should go out. That's what T.Y. is saying to Femi. And Femi is like, well, it depends. Is your sister going to come? And T.Y. is like, my sister? Uh, I think I read you wrong. Um, forget it. And then Femi is like, I, I was asking because I would rather it just be you. Um, and um, T.Y. is like, oh. Okay, and he's she's like, well, let me know when's a good time. And he's like, I'll make myself available. And T.Y. is like, um, to us, here I was thinking, um, Cola. Oh, T.Y. says to us, the audience, the viewing audience. She's like, here I was thinking Cola was my last chance. That child is all of what, 25? And she think that that, man, that one man was her last chance? Baby girl, please. Here I was thinking Cola was my last chance. Life is too short to be with someone who doesn't want you. I didn't have to change. I just had to be comfortable in my own skin. Operation Let Cola Go has begun. And Operation TY 2.0 Get Your Man has started. And then that's the end of the episode. So yay, TY. We love T.Y. Okay, so then episode six is called It's a Day. And we see um, T.Y. on air. And she's like, you know, ladies, um, you know, you should grab the bull by the horns. You know, if uh, um, if you're into somebody, um, if you like a guy, ask him out. Um, the worst thing that can happen is that he can say no. Um, you know, if you're whatever. So then, you know, and then we have... Um, you know, it, all he can say is no, but at least you tried. Okay, back to the music. This is The Gist with T.Y. Remember, that's the name of her show. And I guess that The Gist is like gossip or the 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 vibe, the point, the stuff, you know. Because when we say The Gist, we mean like, you know, the gist of the matter is like the, the idea. Like the gist, you know, it's like the essence or something. The essence. Okay, so... um. And then we, um, she answers the phone, you know, her telephone, her personal telephone. And she's like, Fola K, what is it? And Fola is like, I'm at your house. Hurry up with your TV show. Your mom says you had a date tonight. I got you some clothes. And Fola, you know, and then um, Fola laughs. And T.Y. is like, I just had one bad picture. And now people think that I can't dress. One bad picture in a blog. Um, I can't dress myself, you know. And then we see Fola in T.Y.'s room. And T.Y. is like, it's just a hangout. And Fola is like... Like, you are a lady. A hangout is with him and his boys. Um, and then, you know, they have a little montage where we see her with different outfits. And, you know, they settle on the outfit. And then the mama likes, she looks cute. The mama likes it. And then um, Fola's like, okay, I got some tips. And um, T.Y.'s like, tips? Girl, you marry. And Fola is like, yes. And I caught my hubby with these tips. And I update these tips because I never know when I might need them. And then um, um, the mommy is like, yes. 
You won't need them. You won't need them. You won't need them. God willing, hallelujah, we rebuke that you're going to need them. You're going to stay married forever. You're going to die old and married. You know, mama is dramatic, but she goes into her. God forbid, you know, she go into it. And Fola is like, you know, step one, always smile. And then Shali was like, yep, you frown too much. And then um, Fola is like, um, speak your mind without fear. Be a lady. Um, and then Shali wise, like, and don't order too much, uh, better just, just stick to water. And then Fola is like, shut up, Shali Wa. And then she's like, and number three, calm down, try new things. And T is like, well, we're just going to the movies. And then the doorbell rings and Shali Wa goes to open the door in her little crop top and tight jeans. She's like, hello, gorgeous. You look really nice. She's so flirty. And then Fola is like, she's flirting with him. And then she comes and she pushes Shali Wa out of the way. And she's like, hi, I'm the best friend. And then Femi is like, hi, I'm the date. And then Fola is like, date, huh? And then she's looking at Tiwa and she's like, I told you. He thinks he's going on a date too. And then Tiwa comes out and Femi is like, you look, you look so perfect. And then they leave. And then Shaliwa says to Fola, um, he must be really into plus size girls. And then Fola is like, he likes them smart and demure. And then that's the end of the episode. So yay, we lo I love Fola. So this is um, episode six we're up to. And you know they they at season four. So we're going to keep going. We're going to catch up because the earlier, at the beginning, the, the episodes were shorter. So I think I'm going to be able to catch up. But we're still working on She's Gotta Have It, the Netflix Spike Lee joint thingy. And um, then on Fridays, we're watching Married to Medicine and getting those reviews out you know within a couple few days and then on Sundays we're watching um the Real Housewives of Atlanta so I think we got a little gap in here when we can kind of catch up um thank you so much for watching subscribing liking sharing welcome welcome back uh uh today is the best day ever you are the greatest you're number one you are fabulous so be you be fabulous be fabulous you be you be fabulous. Be fabulous you. Be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous you. Be you. Be fabulous.